Testing, testing, check one, two. Are, are we live? Is there any sound on? Um, is there sound? Let me check my ringer first. Um, okay. All right. Okay, check one, two, check one, two. Are we live? Hello, Nightwolf Animation 15. Uh, how are you doing? Um, welcome to the live stream. Um, yeah, this is basically where uh, we get to talk about stuff, you know? Uh, Something like that. Ah, ah. yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, anyway, we can talk about what we what we want or whatever you want, whatever we want to speak, what's on our minds, you know, just stuff like that. And I can already tell that this guy who keeps calling me Kevin sh will show up without a doubt. So yeah, I know why he does that. The Thor parody was awesome so creative I think yeah uh, thank you um yeah um I'm yeah so creative all right that's that's what I thought um anyway um thank you for the compliment dude um it's uh I I just uh I'm really sorry about the delay though uh, I was on a budget I didn't really have any uh, Thor Ragnarok sets at the time while it was at re while it was releasing but uh but hey it's done now and uh yeah that's that's about it anyway um yeah Anything else? Like, um, is there a, um, oh my god, I'm not really good at starting conversations, unfortunately, so that's not good. Um, okay, is there anybody else willing to watch it? Um, nope, just, um, the, just the one person watching it? Okay, um, no offense or anything. I'm, Okay, um, what's there to talk about? Oh my god, um, well, there's the noise of my fan going off, so that's pretty, that's not, that's not something to talk about. Anyway, um, hmm. okay, let's see here. What will happen in the Doctor Strange and Deadpool story? Um, I don't know. Uh, maybe, um, uh, maybe they go to the Black Panther movie or the Black, or they go to Wakanda or something. Maybe, uh, maybe they head into the Black Panther parody or something like that. But, or maybe they can, um, yeah, yeah. Or they might end up going somewhere else. I'm not sure. Um, anyway, um, that's all I can say about the Doctor Strange and Deadpool storyline. Yeah. All right. Anything else? While I, uh, uh, are you doing a Justice League parody? Uh, maybe, maybe I might. Just um, I just might. I I might. It might be a bit delayed. I, I might have to wait until it's released on DVD or maybe sooner. I don't know. Um, I did get the Justice League, some of the Justice League sets, so that's good. So I might do that. Okay. Alright, um, well, so uh, let's, uh, let's talk about something else while I stall with the, while playing with the filters or something like that. Stalling, 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 stalling. Okay. Yeah, this one's kind of cool. Okay. Did you hear about Marvel's Wolverine movie? Marvel's making a Wolverine movie? Oh, love your videos. Uh, thank you, uh, Takosuyu812. Welcome to the live stream. Uh, feel free to talk about what you want to talk about. Yeah, um, I didn't know Marvel was making a Wolverine movie. Um, is it, like, animated or something like that? Um, it's on their site. Oh, so it's like a, so it's like a, a fan film or something like that. Is it, is it connected to the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Can I voice in your videos some somehow? Um, maybe uh, I might give you give you a call or something. Yeah, I might, or or a message. I don't know. Um, we'll see. Okay, 
what, so what is this about the, the Marvel Wolverine movie? Is it, like, connected to the MCU or something like that? Okay, I'm gonna stall, stall again. Take your time. Um... Oh my god. Oh crap. I don't know. I just know they're going to make a movie named Wolverine A Long Night. Are you you excited for the Venom movie? Um, I'm not sure. Um, I'm personally not sure. Um, yeah. Um, so, uh, the Venom movie. Uh, some people are pretty disappointed that there's a, a Venom trailer without any Venom, unfortunately. But, uh, I... I guess I can be disappointed. No, no, I cannot be disappointed. I'm excited. I have a thing with words getting mixed up in my mouth. I, I have a thing for thinking before I speak, so... Yeah. I want to see it, but Sony. Yeah, Sony canceled the Amazing Spider-Man movies, even though they weren't as good as the originals. Are, are you going to see Avengers Infinity War? Heck yeah, I am, Nightwolf Animations 15. Welcome to the live stream. Oh, wait. You already are. I welcomed you again. By mistake, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I don't really have a thing for recognizing names or something like that. I'm really sorry. But anyway, welcome again. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, two Green Goblin, one Sony. Hmm. What, what does that mean? What does two Green Goblin, one Sony mean? I don't really understand YouTube commenters nowadays, you know? It's just always commenting random shit. I don't know. You should do a Black Lightning parody. I, I could, but I don't know if I have the parts to do so. So, yeah. Top two Spider-Man villains. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Well, um... Sony gave most of the rights back to Marvel. And Spider-Man's in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, so that's good. Um, speaking of Marvel Cinematic Universe, uh, let's, um... Let's talk about Tom Holland, you know, it's Tom Holland, he's a, he's, he's a good guy, yeah, he's Spider-Man, yeah, he's following on Instagram, yeah, I am a Tom Holland fanboy now for some reason, great, when will we see the return of One Punch Man, soon, uh, Tom Holland's great, yeah, I know he's great, he's a great actor, um, he's about my age, so yeah, I, I'd love to do a mo work, work with a movie with him, somehow, yeah. Yeah, uh, about One Punch Man. Yeah, um, I don't know about him. Uh, he might show up soon, sooner or later. I don't know. Probably this year. I'm not sure, really. Um, okay, uh, there's no need to make an it reference, please. Um, oh my god. Um, anyway, he's, uh, he, he's one of my, he's one of my favorite Spider-Man since, uh, Tobey Maguire now. So I guess that's cool. Yeah. I just hit 243. 243 subscribers? That's that's awesome. I only have about a 382, I think. Yeah, but you're you're getting close though. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, and a third person just joined. Uh, hello, third person who just joined our party. Uh, welcome to the live stream. Who are you? Oh, you hit 100. Oh, that's great. Um, yeah, you're getting close. Yeah. Um. I wish I did a video where I uh, hit 100 subscribers, but uh, I already did that. Okay, FTG Elmoon. All right, welcome to the live stream. Feel free to talk about what you want to talk about. Yeah, this is why I uh, titled the live stream. Let's talk about stuff. Yeah. Um, anyway, um, oh, and thanks for the like too. Uh, anyway, uh, how's how's it going? Um, <laughs> all right, let's talk about uh, CW shows, the Arrowverse. I don't really watch the shows, or the superhero shows as much, but do you think Doki Doki Literal Tro- I don't know what that is. Do a Venom video, a Venom parody. Okay, um, I'm not sure about that, but we'll see. Um, and thanks for the like, um, other person who liked it. I don't know which one. Anyway, um, you got- you go to your room right now, young lady. Ha! <laughs> um, the- the, the mythology, the actual Norse mythology. Oh, thanks for the light, uh, Tom C. Who's up, age 12. 
The actual, no oh, and a like. Oh, oh, okay. All three of you guys liked. That's that's awesome. Uh, anyway, uh, I can't believe they didn't stick with the Norse mythology from Thor Ragnarok. I mean, seriously. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Hella's brothers are idiots. Yeah, I can tell you that. Um, well, I stall. Fixing my hair. Okay. Um, that's not my idea of stalling, but all right. Um, do Thor Ragnarok. I already did. Yeah, I already did Thor Ragnarok. I just doubled it two days ago, or yesterday. I don't know. It's close to midnight, so... Favorite Spider-Man theme song? Uh, definitely the Danny Elfman score. Yeah, it's, it's just nostalgia childhood, man. Definitely. Um, why else did I put it in the Spider-Man Homecoming parody? Yeah. I'm a... Have you compared the similarities between Superman and Rap Rapunzel? I like the Unlimited theme. Yeah, Spider-Man Unlimited, is that like a... Yeah, like the 90s shows? Yeah. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Okay, I... Oh, where, 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 where Oh, yeah, the, the Arrowverse. Um, I don't watch the shows or anything, because I was going to watch uh, The Flash Season 4, but uh, I heard that it got ridiculous, like... like it had some ridiculous, humorous moments, you know? And then again, it's a CW show, so... Rapunzel is a ripoff of Superman? What What makes Rapunzel a ripoff of Superman? I mean, are they even the same person? Oh, and I think two more people just joined. Hello, welcome to the live stream. Um, feel free to comment what you want to talk about and stuff. Anyway, about the Arrowverse, um, you're a great YouTuber, you're going places. Oh, thanks. Think about it. I don't know. What is up, my weeb brother? Okay. And I think one of them just left, but that's okay. We got four, we're up to four people now. Yeah, so that's cool. Um, anyway, um, yeah, I don't really watch the CW shows, but I still watch clips of it. I still like to make memes of it. I think the, the cast is great, but, um, do they have to be, make ridiculous, humorous, it's like, I don't know. I mean, I mean, Cisco putting upgrades in the suit. Uh, do you think? I don't know what that is. What the frick is Doki Doki Literature Club? I know. I don't know what that is, and I'm not sure. Anyway, um, a king who has to send his son away from a planet in peril. Um, are you talking about the the Rapunzel from Tangled or the Rapunzel from the literature or fairy tales or something like that? I'm not sure. Anyway, um, about the, the Flash. I mean, the cast is great. I mean, but then again, we have um, the the Thinker pulling a Get Out on us or something like that. And uh, then they sort of flopped the Killer Frost storyline. I don't know. I mean, I thought she was gonna be like a villain or something like that. I don't know. A king and queen who have their child stolen and taken away. Oh my God. Oh, king and queen. They had their child kidnapped. Superman's parents, they sent him to Earth. I mean, it's totally different. Anyway, um... And then we have the infamous You're Not the Flash, We Are Close from a simple girl who's named after the song by the Goo Goo Dolls. Yep. But hey, it could have been worse. It could have been Felicity saying that. And I think I just started a calming war. Great. Anyway, um, yeah, um, so, uh, yeah, let's talk about other stuff, I mean, they both have to live in a world that doesn't accept them. What, what do you mean a world that doesn't accept them? I mean, Rapunzel, she's been locked in a tower the whole time. And, bam, what, oh, um, just because she's locked in a tower doesn't mean that she's not accepted by people. I mean... Oh, is this because Mother, um, the villain of the movie, told her that the world wouldn't accept her when she got out of the tower? Even though she wanted to get out? I don't know. I mean... I don't know. I mean, I think Rapunzel and, um, Superman are totally different people, you know? Um, she was made to cut her hair, and was... She was made to cut her hair. 
Um, yeah, um, uh, actually, f um, not by will, by force. Um, actually, Flynn Rider cut her hair, cut her hair short to, in the movie to, um, I think to save her? Or, I don't know. Why did he cut her hair? Why did he do that? I mean, if he, if he didn't do that, then we wouldn't have that irrelevant TV series. Not Disney, the book. Oh, I did not read the Rapunzel book. Not at all. Read the comments. I am reading the comments. That's why I'm... That's why I'm talking to you guys. Yeah. Um, some people just don't make sense nowadays. I don't know. Anyway, um... Also, uh... I am the comments. Look up. Uh, what? I don't know. I am looking at the comments right here. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm looking at the comments on my screen. Uh, Skip was Scott. What? What are you talking about? I don't know what that means. Um, anyway, um, it got the live stream has only three people and there's only four, and then somehow it got four likes. Okay, there's that. Um. Anyway, uh, let's talk about, uh, Skip Westcott is a bad person. I'm working on a video while I watch this. Oh, okay, is, is it another live stream? Or is it a Lego video that you're doing? Like, what's, what's the video about? I'd, I'd like to hear about it. Anyway, um, let's talk about this, uh, YouTube channel that I already had. Um, yeah, I used to be a, a cringe... Oh, it's about Nightwing. Alright, um, cool. That's, that's awesome. Okay. Uh, anyway, um, it's three minutes so far. Yeah. Um, how long have you been working on it? I, I take a long time to make videos. I mean, the Thor Ragnarok parody, for instance. That Skip and Peter are friends. Who's Who's Peter? Who the heck is Peter? I used to have a two to three months. Oh my God. Um. Oh God. Oh, wow. Two or three months of hard work. Skip Westcott and Peter Parker? What? Oh my god. Um, I've never heard of Skip Westcott in any of the Spider-Man lore or anything. And uh, we got a, a fourth person and a fifth like. That's that's going that's going good. Anyway, um I had a YouTube channel, um, not too like long ago. Um I did cringeworthy stuff. Yeah, I'll look him up later. Um I'm waiting on Skinny Zack's films lines. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Anyway, um, I did, like, cringeworthy YouTube videos. Like, I don't know. And I had a lot of haters. Really bad haters, you know. But, uh, I closed the account, so you won't be able to see them. But then I started this account a few minutes later because my friends had YouTube accounts. I had friends from high school. Yeah, um... They had YouTube accounts. They did some random stuff. Anyway, I decided to follow suit and make some of my own videos, but they were not as good as I hoped they would be. And then I decided to make Lego videos. Did that turn things around? Not really. But then I got, hey, do you hate the Fifty Shades movies? I I haven't seen them, and I wish to not see them at all. Um, I know Jeremy Johns hates them with a passion, which is why he did the, the celebration, the celebration stuff. In, in the review of Fifty Shades for Freed, so that's cool. Yeah, it's over. Tears of joy for him, not me, because I'm never going to see those movies. Thank God. I'm not going to watch that cinematic porno. No cinematic, por no cinematic porno for me. Anyway, um, I did some Lego videos, like stop motions with the, the Lego movie app that, that, they, that used some stop motions, but Morgan Freeman is my uncle. Okay. Okay, um, anyway, um, I did, uh, some YouTube videos, but they weren't as good as I hoped they'd be. Oh, true fact. Okay. Love Shrek. Is that a Shrek is Love, Shrek is Life reference? I don't know. Anyway, about my YouTube portions, um, I was hoping that I would be, like, an awesome YouTuber, but it turns out it would be more cringeworthier. But then I found iMovie, and... Dan, bro, last time I saw you was the Stranger Things countdown. What's good, dude? Uh, nothing much, D-Heart. Uh, welcome to the live stream. Okay.
Okay. Anyway, um, about these lives. No, no, I'll show you. Will you make some Lego Stephen King movie parodies? Um, I don't have the parts for any Stephen King movies. That I and there's not exactly any Stephen King movie parody that I want to do. Um, I do an it parody, but I don't have the parts to do so. So there's that. But it, I might do a Stranger Things parody, but I'm not sure if I have the parts. Um, there's definitely going to do Kingsman. I'm not sure if I have the parts or the minifix to do so. Um, like, how am I going to make uh, Eggsy or or Harry or or Merlin even? How am I going to do those guys? Um, anyway, about uh, my YouTube origins. Um, uh, Stranger Things parody, yeah, coming soon. Anyway, um, hopefully coming soon. I don't know if I have the parts though. Anyway, YouTube origins explained. Um, I did some videos, that, uh, but they weren't as good. But I got skills. All right, you got skills. That's cool. Uh, anyway, um, I I found that I was Age of Ultron was coming out at the time, so I decided to do a Lego of Age of Ultron parody with the the iMovie app with my iPhone. It was four minutes long. You can watch it. It's one of like the actual first Lego parodies ever made. It's not as good as the newer videos, but um, yeah. Um, and then uh, I did a, a few more videos during that time, and then I got a green screen for my Batman vs Superman parody, and that parody actually took things off for me. Yeah, um, the uh, the Lego Batman vs Superman parody sort of changed sort of changed this channel up a bit. Yeah. Batman movie hype 2019. Uh, I think I'm not sh very skeptical about the Batman movie because I I'm a 16 year old loser. Don't call yourself a loser. You're you're not a loser, dude. You're just just love yourself for who you are and don't don't think you're a loser just because of what people think. I mean, I care about what people think all the time, but that doesn't stop me from loving myself for who I am. I'm, I'm 13. Oh, okay, that's, that's cool. Yeah. Anyway, um... And the Batman vs. Superman parody, it took things off for me, and... What do you think about the Christopher Robin movie starring Obi-Wan Kenobi? I'm 7,000 years old. Wow. Um... I'm not very skeptical about the... Uh, yep, you're 13 years old? Okay. I'm not very skeptical about the live-action Way the Pooh movie. Um, I don't know. But I really hope that, um that Ewan McGregor becomes Obi-Wan in the new Obi-Wan movie. I really, it'd be a mistake if they Disney doesn't cast him. A huge mistake. Uh, thoughts on Slenderman? Uh, not a fan, really. Um, I don't really play the games or anything, but I, uh, I, during my Vine days, I used to put in this running gag with, uh, with one of the Lego Iron Man minifigures, and, um, and it came with a white Lego head from the, a white Lego head, I think. Rotten Tomatoes. Yep, Rotten Tomatoes. Um, thoughts on Spider-Man 2099? Okay. Uh, Venom trailer came out. Do you think it sucks? Um, it's just a movie teaser. Um, it, I don't really think it sucks. Um, I just think that the next trailer might actually show Venom. Um, maybe next trailer. Uh, I was kind of disappointed when it didn't show Venom, but hey, there's always the fan art, you know? That's, that's cool. I just hope that Tom Hardy doesn't pull a Topher Grace. Uh, Black Panther skirts? What? I don't know. Uh, Black Panther parody coming soon, no? Yeah. Um, definitely coming soon. Anyway, um, I was going to do a, uh, okay, anyway, back to that, um, Last Jedi, no, not Last Jedi, um, hang on. That, that Slenderman gig, that running gag during my Vine days, uh, I would have the white head that, from that Tony Stark Mansion set that it came with on one of the minifigures, um, I would put that on another minifigure and call him Iron Slenderman. Uh, I see you out my window. My window is blocked by curtains and shelves. They're the only two windows from my room. So there's that. Yeah, they're not really curtains, they're just blankets taped to the, stick to the wall or something like that. Anyway, um... I used to call him Iron Slenderman back in my Vine days. Like, I thought it was a comedic, a comedic gag or something like that. Don't know if I can bring him back to my Lego parodies. I don't know. What time is it? Uh, Adventure Time. Just kidding. It's 11:40 in my time. Uh, anyway. Um, 
anyway, um, I was going to do a, a Last Jedi parody back in uh, uh, 2016 when Rogue One was coming out because I don't, ha I didn't have the the Rogue One sets when the movie was coming out. No, it's Rick Boy. Rick Boy time? What? I don't know. Anyway, um, I was going to do this uh, this move. It's 12:41 a.m. in India. Oh, okay. Uh, happy midnight from America, India, or Indiana. Ah, I got the two. I I mixed, I mixed up a, a a state from North America to another country. Ah, uh, what is wrong with me? Anyway, um, I was going to do a Last Jedi parody when Rogue One was coming out because I didn't have the Rogue One sets, but uh. I did finish it, but I uh, decided not to do it because of other projects that I might work on. I was going to do special effects, but then I decided to do another uh, YouTube parody. I don't know which one it was. Uh, 1242 here in the East Coast. Cool. Um, anyway, um, what else should there be to talk about? Um, Lego Gremlins parody and will Gremlins 3 happen? And it's 1242. Um, I don't have any Gremlins sets. I mean, I don't have the, the Lego Dimensions Gremlins pack. But if I did, if I was going to make a parody, I would buy multiple of them. My real name is Jonathan. Like, uh, Will Byers' brother from Stranger Things? Hmm, that's cool. Or Charlotte's assistant from Rugrats? I don't know. Okay, I'm sorry I made fun of your name. I won't do it again. Uh, make fun of my name, uh, like, uh, compare me to the Maze Runner protagonist, or Thomas the Train. Mine's too. Oh, okay. My name is Josh. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, hi, Josh. Ah, uh, I'm resisting... No, I'm not gonna say it. I'm... Thomas Jefferson. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to make fun of people because of their names, uh, that's, uh, I'm not going to roast them, comparing them to other, uh, TV show characters or movie characters, I don't know. Uh, do you like The Room? Oh, hi, Mark. Um, I haven't seen it yet, but I haven't, uh, I have read, I, I, I've watched the Nostalgia Critic review, so that's sort of spoiled for me, but The Oh, Hi, Mark was definitely a highlight, um, one of the most memorable parts of the movie. Um, I haven't seen the, the Disaster Artist yet, um, I was, I'm thinking about it, but I'm not sure. Um, it's like one of those movies, you know, will I see it, or will I not see it? Um, I only have two, two movies on the list so far. There's, um, let's see here, there's, uh, The Disaster Artist, uh, The Edge of Seventeen, I haven't seen that one yet, um, and, uh, what's, I don't know the next one. Anyway, um, what else is there? Anything else that you guys want to talk about? I've only been uh, talking to you guys for at least 28 minutes and 14 seconds, so that's cool. And if I got the time wrong, it's... it's please don't comment on that. Uh, hey, American Pie is on Netflix. Uh, I don't watch the American Pie movies, to be honest. I'm, I'm not exactly a fan of watching comedies. That's why uh, Hello, the Goddess of Death thinks that comedies suck in my Phil Ragnarok parody. Congrats on 300 subs. I am Vengeance. I am the Knight. I am Batman. Oh, thank you. Yeah, 300 subs. Yeah. Uh, I'm almost at 400, by the way, so I hope I get to 400 by the time. So that's cool. So, yeah. Um, the Stranger Things countdown. It got blocked because I showed a scene from Funny or Die. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, got blocked for copyright on um, Batman and Robin parody call it bat nipples bat nipples the motion picture <laughs> I don't know if I can do that I don't have a mr. freeze or a poison ivy I do have a dark knight rises Bane minifigure somewhere I like American pie it was great two was just the same thing hmm. okay um how many American pie movies are there I know that uh, Eugene uh, that guy with the glasses, uh, that bat wallets. Wait, you mean the bat credit card? I should not have said that. I really hope the nostalgia critic's not triggered right now. I mean, I, his video is trending. I don't want to 
I don't want to trigger him at this moment. It's his time. It's his moment. He was not frozen today, so that I could give him that. Um, yeah. Um, anyway, um, what's next? Um, what's next? What do you guys want to talk about? Um, like what my opinions on the last Jedi are, which I can talk about at any moment. Um, okay, I'm gonna talk about how my uh, last Jedi, my last Jedi opinions. Um, prepare to freeze. Lol. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a Batman and Robin parody anytime soon. Want to hear a joke? It's not the Killing Joke, is it? I don't know what the Killing Joke is. I was just making a reference. My life. Now that is the Killing Joke. Wow. The real Killing Joke. Wow. That's not... Look, don't compare your life as a joke, alright? I, mean, I don't like it when people are down like that. Which sets do you like, Avengers of Fate War sets, or Solo Star Wars Story? Talk about the Han Solo movie trailer. Okay, uh, alright, um, the Avengers of Fate War sets, um, honestly, I'm looking forward to the minifigures, to be honest. Um, there's a, we get, um, okay, um, I like the Captain America minifigure, but I don't like the hair piece that they use. Not because it's inaccurate, I would have just picked... The, the new Han Solo hairpiece for Captain America, or bearded Captain America, or, or, I don't know. I'm just gonna call him Captain America. Um, and, and I'm definitely going to get the set with the Iron Spider in it. Batman Robin was a banner. I don't know what that means. Uh, the Iron Spider set. Wow, this is gonna be a, this is gonna be great. Um, no, the Iron Spider set. Um, Iron Spider minifigure. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking forward to that the most. Uh, I think the Iron Spider is the best Spider-Man suit out there. Um, besides the Amazing Spider-Man 2 set, the, the Amazing Spider-Man 2 suit that Andrew Garfield wore. Um, I'm scared about Infinity War. It's going to be really good or really or really bad. Uh, I don't think it's going to be bad. I mean, if it's going to have like a lot of jokes like Thor Ragnarok, it, that might be bad. I mean, if we were in for a comedy this whole time, then the whole Marvel fandom would be triggered. What is your favorite video that you made? Um, I'm gonna say the Spider-Man Homecoming parody. I don't know, maybe? I'm not sure. And, anyway, back to the, this my opinions. Um, personally, um, let's talk about the solo sets. Um, I think they're pretty good. Um, I'm actually, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a solo parody anytime soon. Uh, I might. I might not, I don't know. Um, but, there's one... I, I think I like the the sets. Uh, the Millennium Falcon, uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, the earlier stages of the Millennium Falcon. That's cool. But um, let's talk about that Chewbacca minifigure. Um, I made a meme about it on Instagram, and I gotta say, what the fuck happened to Chewbacca? Love your homecoming party. Thanks. Um, they they made a new Chewbacca minifigure, and it makes Chewbacca look like a crack addict. I mean, seriously. Why? I mean, why make young Chewbacca look like a crack addict? And, yeah, that's my only opinions about the solo set so far. Let's talk about the, um... the movie trailers and the Super Bowl spot that came out. Uh, um, this... You have Instagram? I was not informed about this. Yeah. I don't really talk about my social media or anything like that. Um, yeah, there's that. Um, do you think the Iron Spider arms will be in Avengers Infinity War sets? Uh, I think so. I'm three. I'm gonna hit a crack pip. What? I don't. I don't do drug humor, to be honest. Um, but that did not stop me from putting, making Heimdall. Heimdall. I mean movie, not sets. Um, if they are in the Lego set, I think I saw them in the Lego sets, and I saw them, I saw, like, a 12-inch doll of the Iron Spider with the, and it comes with the arms on the back for his accessories, I think. So I, I think this is a 100 to 90% chance that we might see them in the comics. Not me, not the comics, the movie. Like, see them from comics to movie, that's what I meant to say. Yeah. Anyway, um, about the solo trailer and the um, Super Bowl spot, um, I think the Super Bowl spot was better, um, and I think the trailer was kind of basic, but um, yeah, um, 
I'm not too skeptical about the new Han Solo. Um, personally, um, I think they should have made him like. Uh, what if Zo, Zo, what? Who's Zoe? I have a blade of nose. I'm Eleven. Oh my God. What if Eleven dated Zod? Oh my God. Um, I don't want to think about that. Um, they had to wreak havoc all over the place. Um, about the solo trailer, I'm, I'm not skeptical about. Uh, um, I, I um, there are some uh, CGI Superman mustache. I don't know how I'm gonna pull that off in my Justice League parody. I'm not sure about that, but I can tell you, um, I might pull off uh, CGI the CGI skinny dude villain. But uh, yeah. Anyway, um, I personally, I think they should have made uh, the guy who plays the younger Han Solo in the new movie uh, as Han Solo's son in the sequel trilogy, like uh, Kylo Ren's brother or something like that. <laughs> who, um, yeah, maybe he could be like, uh, what would his name be? Like, um, not Han Solo Jr. Um, I think that would be funny since Harrison Ford played both Han Solo and Indiana Jones and then... Han Solo calls the uh, his own son Junior, and then and then the guy says, "Don't ever call me Junior, Dad." Seriously, I mean, you in school? Uh, no, I graduated. Ben Swallow. Nope, that name's already taken. Uh, there's already a Ben Swallow. Yeah. Um. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna. Uh, favorite YouTuber? Mine is Jane Animations, iDubs TV, and Forest Fire 101. Um. Yeah, Forest Fire 101 is a pretty big inspiration for uh, YouTube Lego videos that people that made them. Chewie looks like he's smoking something. Yeah, like I said, he's a crack addict. Anyway, um, Forest Fire 101, he's a he's a bit of inspiration for us Lego YouTubers. Like Aubrey Studios 84, he uh he actually got Forest Fire 101 to voice one of his videos. He even sounds like him. The 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 guy who had what. The actual channel, not Forest Fire 101 in general. Um, I don't know. Forest Fire is my inspection. Okay. Uh, speaking of Forest Fire 101, I think I saw him when I was 10 years old. Uh, not really, though. Uh, me and my family were at a restaurant, but uh, I wasn't sure if it was him. I mean, I think he was eating with his family. That Chewbacca worst brother. Oh, my God. Um, I think I... Inspiration, yeah, he is inspiration. I think I saw him at a restaurant, but I wasn't sure it was him. I mean, he looks like him, though. I'm not sure. Um, this is actually one of the weirdest days of my life, and a wasted opportunity, because I never got to meet the an idol that I wanted to meet for a long time. Um, yeah, I was a huge Force Fire 101 fan back in the day. Uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp trailer. Um, it looks good. I mean, it looks better than the, uh, the original Ant-Man movie. Um, yeah, um, it's, yeah, um, I'm actually kind of scared for that movie. Um, anyway, um, it looks better than the first movie, but I'm just happy that, um, that they got Luis back for the second movie, which is great, because Luis is my favorite character, one of my favorite characters in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yeah, besides my favorite superheroes, um, thoughts on Wonder Woman 2, um, I hope they have, like, my other inspiration is Aubrey Studios 82, yeah, um, yeah, Aubrey Studios 82, that's, that's, it's pretty cool, um, his videos and his humor that makes him sound like he's dead inside, that's, that's actually pretty cool, um, yeah, sorry, uh, my sister called me, and, uh, yeah, it's, uh, she was, uh, she was wondering if I was home. And also me, as an inspiration? Um, yeah, thank you. Um, I really appreciate that. That's, that's awesome. Um, I love to be an inspiration for people, but I don't really see myself that way much. Um, thank you. Thank you, though. That's, that's really awesome. Message retracted. What, what message was it? Oh my god, you're retracting all your messages, dude. Oh, Lego Mantic is your inspiration? That's cool. That's awesome. <clears throat> oh, oh, you were talking about what happened. Yeah, my sister called me, and uh, she was wondering if I was home. It's pretty late, and yeah. My ear feels like a hot Cheeto. Is it, is it, is it burning? Um, 
I don't know what that means. Uh, anyway, um, about, okay, um, I'm just getting some, ins um, yeah, uh, my room is like the sun. Oh, oh, you're, you're feeling hot, okay. Um, okay, that's, like, yeah, sounds, the Fox Marvel deal, oh my god, the Fox Marvel deal, holy crap, um, um, I, uh, I, I'm, I think we should let, um, Hugh Jackman continue Wolverine, or something like that, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, but if he decides to come back, hopefully Marvel will give him, will be happy to give him back the role that he started from, uh, wait, what, yeah, um, I think, uh, Disney and Fox made a deal, and I think, dude, if Santa can see you if you're nice or not nice, then you can stop crime, dude. And can you stop crime, dude? What? I don't know what that means. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, um, okay, um, what was I talking about? Oh, crap. Oh, yeah, the Fox Marvel deal. Um, if they get Hugh Jackman to play Wolverine again, uh, but Disney owns Batman TV rights now? No, Batman is not owned by Fox. He's owned by DC, which is owned by Warner Brothers. I hope he will, because he is great. Yeah, um, I can't wait to see what uh, chemistry he will have with the other characters, especially Spider-Man and Tom, Ho Spire Tom Holland's Spider-Man. Oh my god, that I, I, I'm not prepared for. Um, I hope Deadpool, uh, Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool comes there too. If it's hot in your room, then I'm in there because I'm sexy. I'm going to pretend that I did not read that. Well, anyway, um, uh, I hope uh, they... Deadpool and Wolverine, uh, the way I describe them, come back. Yeah, um, maybe make it like a multiverse type of deal like they did in The Flash. Um, yeah, and speaking like The Flash, um, Captain Marvel, uh, the Captain Marvel suit. I hope Deadpool makes jokes of the deal in Deadpool 2. Oh, that would be awesome. Maybe they might actually announce the deal there. I don't know. I mean, there was this fake after credit scene for Logan one time, but it got taken down. But it had um, Deadpool sitting in the cinema, and he's just upset about the Wolverine ending. No, not the Wolverine ending. The Logan ending. But then, uh, then Thor's ham, then thunder strikes, and then Thor's hammer just hits him. He dodges it, and he was like, "Oh my God, we're going to Disneyland." That's what he says in the in the after credit scene, the fake after credit scene. It's it's like, uh, uh, but the TV rights go to Fox. Oh, oh, okay. Um, was Fox and 20th Century Fox the same thing? I'm, I'm confused about that. Like, what the video called? Um, it's taken down, unfortunately. I don't know if we're going to see that again. Um, yeah, I saw it on Instagram once, but uh, I don't know the name of the user who uploaded the video, unfortunately. Yeah, it's pretty disappointing. It might be there, it might, but apparently, um, 20th Century Fox felt I was your 100th sub. Oh, thank you. Um, thank you for helping me get to 100 sub subscribers, Taco Studios. Um, so Disney owns Batman rights? So does that mean we're going to see Batman in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Because that'd be really confusing, don't you think? Um, anyway, um, here's the thing about that fake after credit scene. Um, Fox filed it for copyright, I think. Yeah. And it was fake. No, it's just TV. Uh, yeah. That's the weird thing. They, um... They... They took down... They took down a video that is not... That is based on a fake after credit scene that's not even in their movie. Oh, the new mutants in 2019. Um... Personally, I don't think uh, superhero horror and horror movies should mix together. Um, Gotham will be ruined now. Oh boy. Um, yeah, um, I'm actually I'm not looking forward to superhero horror movies because that would end up making the the superheroes useless, especially since they're teenagers. I mean, they have mutant powers for crying out loud. They could just take down the bad guy or the horror monster or something like that. 
I mean, we could have, like, um, one of the mutants, um, she would just trip and fall, and, you know, like, the, that horror movie cliche, the, the creature is slowly coming towards her with a knife, and she's, got, she's panting, breathing out of fear, like, I don't know, um, and then she realizes, like, oh, shit, I have mutant powers, and then she just uses him and beat the shit out of him. That would be hilarious, don't you think? That would be, like... A pretty funny, um, a pretty funny, uh, nod to a cliche. Yeah. Um, like, that, that stupid horror movie cliche being put in its place by the X-Men universe. Um, personally, I think the New Mutants is hopefully not going to be like fan Force sick And I should never have said fan Force sick because I'm being triggered right now. Oh, God, fan Force sick um, I don't want to talk about that shit. Not anymore. No way. Um, but hey, all I can say is, the original Fantastic Four movies was better than Fan Four Stick, unfortunately. In 2019, The Wizard of Oz is now horror. Oh my god, I really hope not. Um, if they're doing a, a Wizard of Oz sequel, like a straight up remake, and it's a sequel to Oz the Great and Powerful, I don't know if I'd watch it or not. I don't know. Um... I don't know. Um, I'm talking about Fan Forstick, the worst, the worst movie ever made, and I, how I'm comparing it to the original Fantastic Four movies, which are, which are better but not good. I don't know. Um, unfortunately, Disney Pixar made another fantastic, made a fantastic movie on our own, and it's not even the Fantastic Four. It's The Incredibles. Look it up on Google. Night Wolf Animations. Um, I might look it up. Yeah. Uh, Nightwolf Animations actually, um, showed up. Yeah, I think he's still here. Um, are you still here, Nightwolf? Um, comment yes if you are still here. Mask off? Mask off? Okay, Nightwolf Animations 15 is still here. Um, apparently, uh, the James Taylor, I think, I think that's his name, uh, I think he, uh, just talked about you. Taco Studios 812 is here. He's still here. That's cool. Okay, oh, my throat is hurting for talking too long. I've been talking for almost an hour and my throat is hurting. It's a future song. Hmm. Like a uh, superhero theme? Or something like that? Or is the theme of the song Superheroes? Rap God. Oh, I don't do rap. Um, hi, Tom's Customs. Uh, did you just get here? If so, then welcome to the live stream. Feel free to, um, feel free to talk about what you want. And uh, thanks for the like. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Sorry, sore, sore throat. Yeah, I just got here. Yeah, okay, that's cool. Um, feel free to talk about what you want to talk about. Um, anyway, um, I'm swinging on webs, so you're basically Spider-Man. Dude, your videos crap me up every time. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, I appreciate the compliments. Um, it's definitely the Last Jedi. Yeah. Um, can you name your Dreamcast for Batman Beyond movie for the DCEU? Okay, for Batman Beyond, um, I'm, for Terry McGinnis, um, I think either Logan Lerman or Dylan O'Brien, I don't know, maybe those guys. And as for, uh, Bruce Wayne, uh, I think either Michael Keaton or Ben Affleck, if he decides to do it. I'm not sure. Um, and for the Joker, um, I'm not sure. Um, not, Je not Jared Leto, obviously. Um, I heard that Joaquin Phoenix is and talks to play him in the DCEU, I'm not sure. Oh, or the Joker solo movie. I don't know, this, this DCEU is confusing sometimes. I don't know. I'm Drakus. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I can't really say that. I mean, I don't really cuss in my videos. I just, um, yeah, um, I did cuss sometimes, but, um, not, not bad, not as bad. Yeah, um, oh my god. Uh, sorry, excuse me, um, my voice is killing me because I've been talking for almost an hour. Um, okay, uh, I'll be right back. I'm going to get myself a bottle of water. Um, feel free to... Um, right. You say that again with the X-Men timeline. Yeah. The X-Men timeline. I don't know which one is confusing. Oh, Taco CEOs just uh, sent out some hand gestures. I don't know why. Um, I don't know. Um... It is a mess. 
Yeah, um, and the, I don't know what's worse, the DCEU uh, casting, or how their movies are going, or the X-Men timeline, I'm not sure. Um, Dreamcast X for X-Men MCU, um, Wolverine, Hugh Jackman, that's it. I don't know. I don't know anybody else who could play the X-Men. Um, I don't know. And, um... Yeah, I don't know anybody else. Um, I actually grew up uh, the Fantastic Four. Uh, awesome video. So, thanks, man. You keep complimenting my channel. That's that's awesome. It's not that there's anything wrong with it. I, I love it. Just, um... It's... I mean, it's nice to have a fan. Really, it's awesome. But, um... Feel free to talk about something else, you know? Just... Talk about, like, what you want to talk about. Like, um... The Last Jedi, which is personally okay for me. I think the, the Force Bond was a little uh, out of place. And, um... Okay. Oh, oh, I don't mean to offend you or anything. If if you're offended, then I'm, I'm sorry. I don't want to disrespect you or anything. You can compliment if you want. All you want. It's just... Talk about what you want to talk about, dude. No hard feelings. Okay, I'm gonna go, uh... I'm gonna go, uh, get myself a bottle of water. Um, I'll be right back. Um, feel free to talk to each other. Yeah. I'm back. <sighs> All right, Rebel with the cause. Instead of getting one water bottle, I got two. I don't know, it's just how I am. What do you think about Ready Player One, Jurassic World, Fallen Kingdom, and X-Men Dark Phoenix, and Fantastic Beasts 2? Um, yeah, um, Fantastic Beasts 2, I'm looking forward to. I'm almost looking forward to Jurassic World 2 because of, uh, I love the first movie, and I saw that because of Chris Pratt, one of my favorite actors. And um, then there's uh, Ready Player One, which I'm also looking forward to. Um, it looks interesting because it has all the rights to different characters, you know? And, uh, and about X-Men Dark Phoenix, I'm really scared for that. Um, I really hope that they don't pull a last stand on us, like kill off our favorite, kill off our favorite um, um, heroes like, again. Don't pull off a Brett Ratner, kids. Jeff Goldblum is in Jurassic World 2, and I'm glad for that, yes! Jeff Goldblum, happy human beings. Wonderful human beings, still at large. Yep. Um, let's hope he's not kidnapping Star-Lord for his contest of champions in his basement. Yeah, so there's that. Ah, it's better. Here's my fan fiction. Fan fiction, okay. Spider-Man shooting webs all over Black Cat's face and tight suit while his other webs come out. Oh my god, I don't want to, I don't want to hear that. Okay, what did I miss? Okay, uh... Who should act as Green Goblin? 
um, hang on, um, okay, um, about Green Goblin, um, I think Matthew McConaughey should play Norman Osborn. I really hope they do the Green Goblin storyline in the, in the, the Marvel Spider-Man movies, but then we wouldn't have the Century 6. Hey, did, hey, they did the Phoenix storyline in X-Men 3, but it sucks. Yeah, I really hope they do it justice in the new one. Then, if they do it then, then what will happen to the other X-Men movies, like the original ones? I'm actually scared about that. And about uh, Green Goblin, um, I think Matthew McConaughey should play him. And for his, and as for Harry Osborn, who I think he, uh, um, I think either uh, Dylan Minnette, Asa Butterfield, or me even. I don't know. I don't know. If um, Harry Osborn doesn't show up in the new movies, then um, we can always have Ned turn into the Hobgoblin like in the comics. I don't know. Um, I want Toby to play Uncle Ben, and Andrew should be Skip Westcott. Um, I'm gonna... Oh, I think I remember now. I think Skip Westcott used to be the guy who molested Peter Parker as a child, right? I hope not. Um, I don't think they should cast Andrew Garfield for that. Personally, I don't want him to play these types of characters. Um, Guess what episode this is from? Show the King, the Widow, and Rick. I don't know. Oh, okay. Um, I know that because I read a, a Instagram facts that they always put for superhero shows. Okay. Um, The Walking Dead. Okay. Okay. Um, I'll be right back. Just uh, gotta check on something personal real quick. Um, feel free to talk about what you guys want to talk about. Uh, I'll be right back again. Sorry. Oh, uh, I'm doing a live stream. Uh, yeah, where is she? Oh, okay. Oh, man. Um, okay. Um, sorry, guys. Uh, something personal just came up. I'm, I'm gonna have to end this live stream real quick. Uh, I'll be right back, though, okay? Um, uh, please make sure you guys uh, come back for the second part, alright? Bye, guys. Love you. Did I just say that I love you guys? Wow, that is cringeworthy as fudge. Okay, um, I'm, I'm at Sibai, alright. See you guys later. Um, what do you think about the anime Spider Man movie? Um, I might do a parody on that. Okay, um, alright, bye guys. Uh, see you later.